is up YouTube? It is Sydney Island here. That's Island with a Y, not an S. And I'm coming to y'all with a What Makes Leos So Sexy? Okay? And again, this is going to be kind of a, like a generalization. This is kind of from my own perspective. Again, everybody's opinion of a Leo is going to be different. Everybody has different ideas of what makes Leo sexy, you know, depending on your sign and your birth chart. I'm a Taurus, so keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, let's get into it. What makes Leo so sexy is that a lot of times, in my opinion, Leo men are very masculine. The type of man that a lot of girls want. Okay, let's be real. They're like the type of man a lot of girls want. They're like, they're charming, they're usually well-rounded and easygoing, and they're usually good with people, you know, they're very sociable, and they usually have uh, personalities that are like, they're like people people. How do you call it? Is it people people? You'll meet a Leo, and he'll be a people person. Let's put it like that. Leos are a lot of the times extroverted and, you know, talkative, and that, that, that can be very, you know, attractive, is that um, Leo knows how to hold a conversation, you know, you have fun with Leos, that's another thing that makes them attractive, is that they are fun, they're like children, uh, if you're into astrology is in, in, is as in depth as I am, you'll know that um, the fifth house rules Leo, which is the house of fun and children, and um, that's exactly what Leos are all about, they're childlike and they're fun. They are like fun children. You know, they, they're always down to have a good time. They're fun. They're adventurous. Like, they're really not that hard to get along with. A lot of the times, you know, they're usually go with the flow kind of people. So, yeah, Leos. Another thing that makes Leos so attractive is that a lot of times Leos are into like fitness and exercise and so like they can have fit bodies, you know, the men can be very muscular and the girls can have toned abs, you know, like a lot of the times Leos are fitness people, they're into going to the gym. Of course it's not going to be for every Leo, but a lot of the times, you know, Leos are, are into that. Another thing, and today I don't have my dorky list, you guys, oh my god, I don't have my list, I'm just like remembering what makes Leos attractive off the top of my head. Another thing that makes Leos so attractive is that they kind of have a, is the word proclivity, I guess, for the finer things in life. You know, like they know what's what's uh, what's attractive on a person or in a house or Leos. Like I've known a few Leos. And the things that I liked about those Leos were that uh, a lot of times they were generous, um, funny, <laughs> and like they had light personalities. They didn't take stuff too seriously. Um, they weren't like like the type of people to stress too much. So a lot of the Leo men that I've I've like come in contact with were just like really sexy um, and masculine, and they were just really attractive um, and you usually just like pleasing to the eye. You know, you really like to look at them. You just feel so feminine and cute, you know, a lot of the times with guys like that, you know, Leo's is the man that all the girls want to be with, and Leo's usually maybe might be the kind of guy that other guys want to be, so, yeah, and also I feel like that Leo's the type of, like, if you were the Leo man, I feel like he's the type that would, like, be romantic, and, like, on the first date, I feel like he's the type that would pay for your dinner, you know, I feel like he's the type that's like, I got the bill, don't worry about nothing, you know, I feel like that's kind of, like, a Leo's, in my opinion, like, a Leo man would do something like that. he take care of you, I feel like that Leo men, they like to be the provider, um, and take care of a woman. Like, they like to be the provider. They like to be the man. You know, the man of the house, the man in the relationship. Leo women. Uh, who, who? I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of a, like a, a famous Leo woman that people think is sexy. If y'all can think of a famous Leo woman that people find to be attractive, please put that in the comment section below because I just don't have that on the top of my head right now. Like, I feel like I, I know that there's some sexy Leo women out here. I just like it's why is it not coming to me? It's like I have my brain is completely dead on that. Maybe I could like look it up on the internet. Let's see. Sexy. Leo women. Famous. I put sexy Leo women. That didn't work. Mila Kunis. Internet got Mila Kunis. If y'all know who Mila Kunis is, she played in that 70s show, The Girl with the Dark Hair. Can y'all see that? Yeah, her. Who else is it? Oh, Charlize Theron. I just remembered her. Charlize Theron is a Leo. I just remembered that. The internet didn't tell me that. She's a Leo. People find her to be very sexy. 
Jennifer Lopez, the internet has got me. That one, the Jennifer Lopez, of course. Who does not think Jennifer Lopez is sexy? This is like the worst astrology video. I'm just looking up people who are sexy. Madonna. I'm just realizing that the internet really sucks. Sandra Bullock. I think she's cute. She's pretty. I like Sandra Bullock. She's a. She has a a fun personality. Sandra Bullock. She has a fun personality. I like her. She's pretty hilarious. And now they're popping up men now. Chris Hemsworth is a Leo. Y'all, this is like the worst. <laughs> this is the worst astrology video. Oh my gosh. Like, I already knew these people were Leos. It's so stupid. I'm changing. I'm not watching this video anymore. Well, don't watch it anymore then. Daniel Radcliffe, aka Harry Potter, because it's really hard to see him as anything other than Harry Potter. So, he's a Leo. Anyways, that's all I have for y'all today. I was just having a little fun because I really don't have too much to say about this, y'all. I am not a professional astrologist. I just do these videos for fun, you know. I mean, I, I've been researching astrology for years, um, but, you know, currently I don't know everything. I really don't, though. I'm, I mean, I'm deep into astrology, but I just... I'm still learning. I'm 22. I'm still learning. I'm, I'm going to get there one day. When I'm 32, I'll be like, I'll know everything about astrology. But right now, I'm still learning and growing, and my viewers who are into astrology are going to help me to learn and grow more with uh, the world of astrology and metaphysics. So that's all I have for y'all today. Again, this is Sydney Island. That's Island with the Y. I couldn't even... Get out. Sydney Island. Okay? Island with the Y, not S. Yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace out.